Hello guys and welcome back to another huge silica market update. Urgent message. Is silica about to pump massively? So today I'm going to take a look at silica, Bitcoin and also the Bitcoin dominance. And guys, make sure to watch the entire video because I believe we are about to head into massive volatility. Silica on the daily is just below the 78.6 ratio, which is at 7 cents and a half. And I can actually show you guys that usually we tend to see a relief rally after hitting or going below these important support levels. When we hit the 50% ratio, we did have a small pullback. Then when Silica hit the 61.8 ratio at about 11 cents, we also had a pullback back to almost 14 cents. So I think that right now is a perfect time to see a small pullback just like that. However, this could turn into a massive breakout. Now the next level of support besides seven cents and a half is going to be six cents at this previous level of consolidation and guys check this out as well on the daily the rsi is right now at 30.46 which is officially oversold we also have this yellow resistance line and on the previous small rally we found rejection just at this point however we could be about to retest this level of resistance anytime soon and if we end up breaking above it and moving higher i would expect silica to have a nice breakout now down here we can see that the MACD is indicating the sell-off could potentially be getting weaker. On this previous pump, you guys can see how the MACD almost had a bullish cross. Right now, we're pretty much working on the same thing as the sell-off gets weaker. Now guys, let's talk about price targets. How high could Silica go if it ends up breaking higher? Well guys, for this, I'm gonna use the Fibonacci extension and this will give us potential future price targets. And check it out guys, the most likely price target Target based on this 61.8 pullback ratio would be approximately 17 cents for silica and this makes a lot of sense because the measured price target out of this falling wedge is also approximately 17 cents and check it out guys we're about to have a massive breakout we're now down to the four hour time frame and as you guys can see the Bollinger Bands are extremely tight and usually this is what happens right before we have a massive breakout for example right here you guys can see the Bollinger Bands got pretty tight and we started dumping first but we found support at the bottom Bollinger Band and price action decided to move higher so all I can tell you is that we are about to see a move just like that but guys Bitcoin is likely to also make a huge move tomorrow and Silica is likely to just follow whatever Bitcoin is doing so let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin so even though we have this rising wedge formation in red we're still holding above the white support line from the bigger rising wedge but if we keep breaking lower it becomes more likely that we will end up retesting at least one of these previous lows or we could even break lower to meet the measured price target which is approximately at $31,000 for Bitcoin. Now we also have some mixed bullish signals as we can see that the RSI on the daily is just moving sideways. In the meantime the price of Bitcoin has kept moving lower so we have a bullish divergence and because of this we could see Bitcoin move higher anytime soon. We also have this yellow resistance line. As soon as Bitcoin goes above it we're likely to at least put in a double bottom and try to move higher. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Bitcoin dominance. This will help us understand what is going on with all coins and what we should expect in the next few days and weeks. So even though BTC is going higher in the immediate short term and crushing all coins we're still below this previous high which is healthy overall and that's expected we have remained below this previous high and we're now consolidating in this triangle formation as you guys can see the Bitcoin dominance is right now retesting this short-term exponential moving averages in green and if we break below those we'll be retesting the red exponential moving averages so if we lose these support levels I would expect BTC.D to move in this fashion and we'll try to put in a double bottom but obviously I am rooting for a BTC.D breakdown because this would imply another mini altcoin season and that is a fun time and check it out guys now down to the four hour time frame we can see that btc.d is currently riding along the bottom of the bollinger band this would be perfect if we can bounce and get rejected at my orange 20 moving average to then eventually move lower now if you guys have any questions regarding silica bitcoin or the bitcoin dominance make sure to join our telegram community in the description below this video also the top comment 
there you can ask questions 24 7 i will be glad to help you now if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit the thumbs up also consider subscribing to remain updated and i'll see you guys in the next video